What it be, what it do. Tutorial episode number two. Quirky edition. Right, Tronix? We are a big boy, Kurt. Qu qu shit. Uh, sorry, kids. We're gonna get back to work, all right? This channel isn't for goofing off. I gotta teach you guys how to edit because... I don't know. But nevertheless, let's get on to the video, guys. I'm going to show you how to make a visualizer or equalizer or just something cool to showcase your audio. So all you got to do is just go on YouTube, search up any music you want. All right, guys, this is what we're going to be making our visualizer to. So once you find a song you want, you just got to YouTube to MP3 it. That's all right, guys, one. so once you get your audio in here, all you got to do is just make sure it's all good to go. Press L twice on the keyboard. Audio's there. Everything looks good. Now, to make the visualizer, you just got to go right-click, new, solid, or you could control Y, or you could go up to the top and press this button right here, which I don't know why anyone would waste their time taking that long to do it. Once you get all this in, all you gotta do is search up audio spectrum. Now you can also do audio waveform, but that's more like, I don't know, that's like some stuff scientists use, I don't even know. Anyway, so audio spectrum is what we want. Audio layer, just select your audio layer. I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna make this the whole length. So we're gonna do, oops, we're gonna do 1920 and start point will be zero, so it's gonna be on screen the entire way. You're probably wondering what the hell does any of this do? Frequency band, we'll just add a lot more of these. Now, what I also wanna do is lower the softness. I don't know why that's on by default, it's kinda ugly. Inside color, um, it doesn't really matter whatever color you want. I mean, you can also, what I like to do is make these the same color. You can also use hue interpolation. So depending on what audio is playing, the colors might change. Like, you know, if you got a lot of lows or mids playing, the color will shift to that part of the spectrum. We can also increase the height a lot more to be able to see what we're doing. And if you want it to be on side A, you can put it to side A or side B, depending on what you want. And you can also change the display option. I usually keep it on digital because I think digital looks the best. And Analog lines isn't too bad, but you might as well use waveform for that. Next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna show you how to actually make this look good. Now, if you wanna make it look like the OG Monster Cat, like OG, OG era Monster Cat look, all you gotta do is make the end fr frequency and the start frequency super tiny, all right? Make it like 200 between each other. So we'll just do like 220 for this. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna make your wavelengths fat, bro. They're gonna be chunky and smooth. Actually, it looks like that one uh, that one album by uh, the guys that made the song Are You Mine. I forgot the name of that band. But anyway, now I personally don't really like the way OG Monster Cat looks like. So if you wanna make it look like new gen Monster Cat, all you gotta do is make this like 20 and then make this like maybe a thousand or something like that. Or it's still doesn't really look like the monster cat we're going for what are you laughing at Sorry, i just realized i just remember that you're doing a, an audio visualizing when you mentioned monster cat i just thought of the ncs like bouncing oh NC <laughs> yo next tutorial we'll cover that all right leave a like if you want an ncs <laughs> visualizer tutorial the next step we're gonna do is make the visualizer look good so you can just add something like a simple glow on here and then we're just gonna increase the radius a bunch <laughs> no. i'm just laughing at young gravy that's how to make a simple visualizer this is the quick tip series i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new guys i make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff so my editing pack is in the description down below if you want to buy my presets project files and other cool stuff but nevertheless thank you so much for watching leave a like subscribe or i'll make an edit of your house yeah,